Hello friends, welcome to the Milton Public Library. This is Mrs. Dulac and we are going to read some stories and have a flannel board and some songs and we're going to use our scarves today and it's all about apples because it's apple season. So um, we will start with our together song and you can sing with me. The more we get together, 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 the more we get together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we get together, the happier we'll be. And because we're, I'm at the library and it's filled with books, and I know you guys love books, we're going to put our hands together to look kind of like a book, and we're going to sing the more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. Because your friends are my friends and my friends are your friends. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. Good job. Thank you for singing with me. Always makes me happy when there you guys sing with me. The first book that we are going to read is Up, Up. It's Apple Picking Time. It's by Jody Fickles Shapiro, and it's illustrated by Kid, Kitty Hav, Havrel. And Holiday House Publishers has given us permission to read this book. Oh, my goodness, look at all those different kinds of apples. That is amazing. Up, up, up. It's Apple Picking Time. It's apple picking time. Mama's voice tickles my ear and whispers me awake. On with my shirt, sweater, pants, warm socks and shoes not tied. Outside it feels as if we're all the only ones awake in the whole world. Dad says it's a long drive ahead. Looks sleepy. Amber uses my shoulder for her pillow, but I don't mind. She's keeping me warm while we drive, driving, driving, driving to the apple ranch. Two picnics later, one for breakfast, one for lunch, we're finally off the highway and onto the twisty, bumpy, narrow bridge. One car only, apple tree lined road. <gasps> there they are, Granny and Grandpa, standing at the gate, calling, hooray, we're so glad you're finally here. We could hardly wait. Neither could we, we say. Then everyone is off to the orchard. It's apple picking time. Apple smell is in the air, apple perfume everywhere. There are so many trees and it looks like a million apples, red, green, yellow, and pink. I don't know where to start, I tell Grandpa. He pulls a yellow apple off a tree, puts it to his nose and breathes in like Mama does with a flower. Ah, oh, it's perfect apple aroma, says Grandpa. And we lean in close and smell it too. From his pocket, he takes out his little red-handed knife and cuts a slice out of the apple. Have a taste, he says. The apple is cool and crunchy and sweet, and everyone has a slice, and we all stand together in the afternoon sunshine wishing we could have more. But it's apple picking time. Begin with this golden delicious miles, Grandpa tells me. He points to the tree where we've been standing and hands me a small sack made of cloth. I give the littlest tug and the yellow fruit almost falls off into my hand. It's as big as my softball. The sacks get heavy fast and every time it's full I empty them into a wooden field box. We climb up ladders and disappear into the trees. I can see dad's legs and his voice is coming from the middle of the tree filled with red apples. He's singing a made-up song about loving apple dumplings and eating apple pie. The tree next to him has mama's laugh. That's the only way I can tell it's her. Amber and Granny are picking up fruit from the ground. Granny says these apples make the best cider. The mention of cider makes me want some. It's warm work picking apples. I say that it already smells as if the cider is hiding somewhere in the orchard. That's apple orchard perfume you're smelling, Miles, says Granny. And then she surprises us with cups of cool apple juice. All afternoon, we fill those apple sacks with delicious, both red and golden, Macintosh, Pippin, Winter Banana, a funny name for an apple, if you ask me, and the last few stray gra graven stains. The wagon cart is loaded with boxes filled to the brim. Daylight runs out fast in the canyon, even in summer. Granny's piping Pippin pie makes a fine end to the apple picking day. 
early to bed, have to be well rested for an apple selling day. Up, 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 it's apple selling time, Grandpa's whiskers scratch my cheek and the smell of breakfast cooking pulls me out of bed. It's Grandma's morning oatmeal with sweet applesauce and then we're out to the fruit stand through the dew wet grass. Grandpa turns over the carved wooden sign. Cars pull in. Granny wears a big straw hat trimmed all around with shiny apples and greets old friends. These are the grandkids come to help. She almost sings the words. Apples are tasted, admired, and bought. We carry bags and boxes of apples to cars for the people who come and go all morning. Lunch is a picnic in the sunshine, but we can't hardly, but we can hardly sit still enough to eat. It's apple selling time. And when, then, before you can say Macintosh, Granny Smith, Golden Delicious, Pippin Pie, the sun has flown away, taking the warmth with it. The sign is turned to closed, and it's time to call it a day. <clears throat> Supper is fresh baked apple dumplings floating like islands in a sea of milk. And then there's talking about that apple selling day. Grandpa puts old jazz records on his phonograph and dances around with Amber. Even Mama and Dad dance, but I like lying on the rug in front of the fireplace, just watching everybody being happy, wishing we didn't have to go home tomorrow. It's hard to say goodbye. Hello hugs are so much nicer. Sackfuls of apples surround Amber and me. We're driving, driving, driving home. Their cidery smell helps me remember the day, happy days of apple picking and apple selling time. And this book has a Granny's microwave baked apple recipe on this one. Up, up, up. It's apple picking time by Jody Fickle Shapiro. That was a good book. I like that one. Let's see, what do we have next? Oh, I know. It's a flannel boy story. And can you guess what it's about? Yep, apples. Let's see. Here's the tree. Here are all the pieces. So it's called five red apples. So we need five red apples. Five red apples hanging in the tree, juiciest apples I've ever seen. The wind came along and by and gave an angry frown, and one of those apples came tumbling down. Whoosh! Went the wind, and one of those apples came down, 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 down. Four red apples hanging on the tree, juiciest apples you ever did see. The wind came up by and gave an angry frown. And one little apple came tumbling down. <gasps> Another apple on the ground. Three red apples hanging in the tree. The juiciest apples you ever did see. The wind came by and gave an angry frown. And one more apple came tumbling down. red apples hanging in a tree, the juiciest apples you ever did see. The wind came by and gave an angry frown, and one little apple came tumbling down. That's windy, it's pretty hard. One red apple hanging in a tree, the juiciest apple you ever did see. The wind came by and gave an angry frown. And that last red apple came tumbling down. All of them fell right out of the tree. I bet they would make good cider. So now I have another book to read. And it's about apples. <laughs> this is Apples, Apples Everywhere. Learning About Apple Harvests by Robin Coos and illustrated by Nadine Tobacco. And Capstone Publishers has given us permission to read this book. Apples.
apples, apples everywhere. Plants are turning brown, the air smells fresh, it feels chilly, it's not summer anymore. Time to pick apples. Wow, look at all the apples. At the apple orchard, trees sag with ripe fruit. Welcome to our apple harvest. <gasps> apples come in shades of red and yellow and or green. Apples can be as small as a cherry and they can be as big as a grapefruit. Wow, that one's huge. I got it. In the orchard, people are busy picking and packing apples. Fruit ladders help workers reach apples high in the tall trees. We need a lot of help in autumn. We could eat some of those. <laughs> That's kind of my favorite thing at the apple orchard. Don't drop that apple. Workers put the apples in boxes. It's best to store apples in a cool place. An apple rots quickly if it's bruised. Apple worms. Whoops. Apple worms live inside some apples. Apple worms are ready. They're really moth caterpillars. The caterpillars eat the seeds and the fruit. Later, they squirm their way out. What's worse than finding a worm in your apple? Finding half a worm. Ah, yuck. <laughs> some apples taste tart. People like to use them for baking pies. I like the sour ones. Mmm, pucker up. Sweet, crunchy apples are best for munching. Apples can be used for games, too. Let's bob for apples. We can bob for apples because they float. Oh, look, they caught, they took one right in their mouth. My goodness. Cider is made from apples. First, the fruit is crushed, and then the apple juice pours into a bucket. What's that sweet smell? Apple cider. People have harvested apples for thousands of years. It's fun to celebrate the apple harvest with others. Uh, and here is a recipe for a dried apple wreath. Nice. That looks so pretty. That was a really good book. Apples, Apples Everywhere by Robin Kuntz. Now I have a song and we're going to use the scarf because we're going to be trees. Okay, this is called Way Up High in the Apple Tree. So we're going to use our scarves, and this is the leaves in the apple tree. Way up high in the apple tree. Can you go like that? Wave your scarf. Way up high in the apple tree. Staring down at me, two red apples in the apple tree. The wind blew, whoosh, whoosh. And down came the apples, right to the ground, and then we eat the apples because they're so tasty. <laughs> Shall we try that once more? All right. Way up high in the apple tree, two red apples staring down at me. The wind, it blew, and down came the apples. Yum. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you for doing that with me. You can get one of these in the store kits. But we'll talk about that later. But I do have another book. And it's called Apple Countdown by Joan Hub, illustrated by Jan Smith and Albert Whitman and Company Publishers have let us read this book to you today. This is a counting book, so you can help me count. Oh my goodness, those are all apples. Apple countdown. <gasps> Field trip day, hooray, says Jose. <gasps> 20 apples with our names on them, say James. I see a tag for me, says Lee. Oh. 19 kids get on our bus, says Russ. I share with Mr. Lee. Re, re, says Lee. 18 miles to over there, says Claire. Eight miles turn, then go 10, says Ben. Name 17 things we might see, said Mr. Yee. An apple tree, calls Lee. Look at all the things they think of. 
a barn and a basket and a butterfly and a bird and the farmer and a cow and a rake and a leaf. Wow, pie, ooh yum. Scarecrow, sun, hay, a dog barking, a bee, an apple, and a duck. I bet they see all of those things at the farm. 16 steps to the gate, says Kate. Hi, Farmer Applebee, says Lee. 15 cars on a train, says Elaine. Five yellow, five green, five red, says Ted. Look at all those different colors. That's kind of cool. Fourteen cows. Moo, moo, says Sue. That's twelve cows plus two. That's a lot of cows. Thirteen ducks. Quack, 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 says Zach. Ten white ones and three black. Yeah, there's the three black. One, two, three. I was looking and I couldn't even find them. Hmm. Twelve rows of trees, says Louise. Delicious. Granny Smith, Macintosh, golden delicious. Eleven hives of bees. Oh, I bet they have honey in this apple orchard. Yay, it's time to pick, says Nick. Look at all the kids picking the apples. <laughs> Easy as one, two, three, says Lee. Hold your apple in your hand, pressing the stem against the apple with your index finger and twist upward, and then you pull, and that's how you take it off. I picked small ones, my sack will hold 10, says Ben. I picked bigger ones, says Caroline, my sack will hold nines. Mine are the biggest, says Kate, my sack only holds eight. My seven apples are green, says Christine. My six apples are red, said Ted. Want to trade with me, asked Lee. An apple has five holes, each with seeds inside, says Clyde. It kind of looks like a star. There are four seasons in a year, says Shikar. Winter branches are bare, says Claire. Spring flowers bloom pink and white, says Dwight. In summer, the apples grow, says Joe. And fall apples are ready to pick, says Nick. Three apple pies for us, says Russ. How many slices are there, asks Claire. Two times six plus eight, says Kate. <laughs> Two o'clock, time to go, says Joe. Crunch, 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 crunch. One lost tooth for me, says Lee. Oh, he was eating his apple and he lost his tooth. Thanks, Farmer Applebee. Bye, we love apples. We had fun. That looks like a really fun field trip, didn't it? Apple Countdown down by Joan Hub. That was really good. Well, we are going to do some apple printing today. It's one of my favorite things to do in the fall. So, you're ready here. I haven't done any yet, but I have it all ready. So you'll see, I cut these two, and we can see the star in the middle. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put a popsicle stick in the middle. And then it's kind of like a paintbrush. Whoops, the seed fell out. Put another one in this one. And then I need to cut another apple because we have three colors. So we have red and we have yellow and we have green because there are many different colors for apples. So we'll cut this one. Oops, got seeds all over the place. So the trick to this is you don't want to put too much paint on or you won't be able to see the star. So sometimes the first go round you might get a little too much, but we can always just do some more. Let's see, put that in, and the green, push it around a little bit. So I would suggest that you wear a, an old shirt so you don't get the paint all over you. Um, and then all you do is you stamp on your paper. And then you can use another color and just go whoop. And then another color. Just like that. Doesn't that look pretty? 
Some of them came out better than others, but all in all, I think they all look really nice. So you need paint for this, but if you don't have any paint to use, I did make a picture with markers and crayons. And you just circle, make a lot of circles, like it would turn out if you had an apple. And then what I did was I took crayons and I colored them in. So I made a yellow apple. I made three yellow apples actually. Look at those. And then I made two red ones. And I colored those in. Now sometimes when you pick an apple, it's more than one color. Sometimes on a green apple, you might have some red on it. And on a red apple, you have some green. Just like that. So we have one colored with markers and with crayons, and one done with paint. You have to let it it dry for a while because it's very sticky. And now I have a lot of apple seeds. <laughs> but I wanted to show you again this week the story time kit. These are available um, if you call and we'll put them on curbside for you. We'll ask a little information. But I wanted to show you what cool things are in here. And I'll open it. And it has a sheet of some songs. It has the Together song on it and then Head and Shoulders, Knees and Toes, which is one of my personal favorites. And it has a scarf, all different colors. It has some rhythm sticks. So we'll be doing some things with rhythm sticks. And it has some bells. And personal favorite, shaky eggs. And a thing of bubbles that your mom or dad or big sister or brother can help you with. Um, and, the, and we'll have a sheet of literacy um, activities for you to do with um, your mom or dad or sitter or grown up or big sister. Um, that'll be just right for you to play with. So that is the story time kit. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really am happy that you could come. I hope that you're all kind to one another and enjoy this fall weather and maybe go apple picking. Bye bye.